Hello there, I thought to come back and show a video of some of the uh, drawing that I've been doing recently um, I, with paper and pencil in sort of real paper and pencil I always like to do quite a lot of doodling and I've, I've done many many sketchbooks full of um, doodling just making it up as I go along basically with no real idea where it's going to go from the outset I think for the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil to really come into its own I felt that it needed to be able to be uh, something that I could doodle on and, and generate drawings on, not just work into them once they're scanned into the app, but actually something that I could create on the surface itself. So I have done a drawing, I did it on the go, so I was unable to actually record it on camera um, like I'm able to show you now, but I have got the replay function within Procreate. Now it's only a couple of minutes long, but I wanted to show how one of my drawings or doodles evolves, but I also want to explain what the next stage will be for this doodle as well. Initially, if I just zoom in here, and there's a great function of the instant replay function within uh, Procreate, is that you can manipulate it. Previously on other older versions, you could watch it, but you couldn't really manipulate and interact with it. Because all you could do was uh, upload it or share it as a, uh, as a video file and then watch it afterwards. This one it's almost like watching it live and you can manipulate it and zoom in and out which is really handy. With this particular drawing I just started off playing around with shapes really and they started to turn into something quite organic, almost some, like some kind of vegetable matter or fruit growing on, some kind of branch and then it just sort of expanded out from there really. Playing around with the uh, pressure curve that I've recently discovered within Procreate app, um, I found that the drawing experience is much more realistic. Now I have just uploaded a video for that as well, so if you want to know how to adjust the sensitivity of the Apple Pencil, so that basically means if you press on lightly you get a better mark, so you don't have to press on too hard. I was finding that a bit of a problem with my early drawing with the Apple Pencil and now that I've discovered that setting, it's made it much, much better. Another great thing about doodling with a digital medium like this is I've been able to change the background from a completely white page to a kind of grey colour so that then I can pick in some of the highlights and put some white tones in there. Another good thing is that if you decide to reposition something on the canvas or change the scale of it, the digital format makes it much easier to do that. Therefore, you can experiment a little bit more. Now, you may have just seen that I dropped one of my other pictures in there. Now, if you're familiar with my videos, you'll know I've actually done a how to paint a sky video. Now, that was the image that I produced on that video. And I did say on that video that I was going to drop it into the backdrop of a, another picture in the future. So what I'm intending to do is turn this doodle, this drawing, into a full painting by combining it with the result of one of my other videos. So I've just dropped a blue tone in the background there and I'll click done. So overall I'm, I'm quite happy with the, the composition. The next task is to, if I just show you in the gallery, is to drop, I find the actual painting on its own. I have had a couple of experiments just dropping it in the background, but that is the picture of a sky which I've done a video for. I'm going to try and merge the two together and I will do another video hopefully where I'm able to actually show how I would mix the two and draw and paint it live on camera with commentary, obviously. Like I say, as much as possible, I'm going to try and do pictures from the very start to the very end, all on camera. But in this instance, it's been necessary to do the drawing on the move, but I'm gonna pick it up here on camera for my next video, and I hope that you enjoy watching how I, how I would turn a drawing into a full painting. Thanks for watching.